own hands. Boycott China is now becoming the rallying cry, not just in global politics, but also on the internet. Google's Play Store has a new app. It's going viral. It's called Remove China Apps. It's a tool to delete all Chinese apps from your phone, and it's being downloaded by the lakhs as people try to boycott China online. On first impressions, it's like any other app. It's called Remove China Apps. Its developers say it's for educational purposes only. But the app is proving to be more useful than that. It is doubling up as a weapon. The main weapon in a campaign to boycott Chinese apps. More than 50 lakh Android users have downloaded Remove China apps just to uninstall Chinese mobile applications. The virus from China is now bugging its own businesses. On target are Chinese apps. Netizens around the world are waging this battle by courting all things Chinese. For India, the reasons are multiple. The call for self-reliance and China's border standoff in Ladakh. From Chinese food to Chinese goods, Indians are targeting everything. The hashtag Boycott China on Twitter now features thousands of posts advocating a complete boycott of Chinese products. This user posted a lengthy guide detailing every major Chinese consumer company. This one went a step further. Apart from naming specific Chinese applications, he even suggested alternatives. Even Indian film stars have jumped on the trend. Actor Arshad Varsi wrote that he is consciously going to stop using everything that is Chinese. He wants his followers to try this too. Ranveer Shauri was more direct. Absolutely, without doubt, he wrote in Hindi on Twitter. The Boycott China campaign only represents the growing public anger against Beijing. Something the Chinese diplomats had tried to counter with social media posts of their own. The Chinese ambassador to India has tweeted festive greetings to Indians. He has even shared messages in Hindi from Chinese scholars. The Chinese even roped in Jackie Chan to win Indian hearts. But it has not worked. Everyone in India, I know we're all facing a very difficult time right now. China's lapses during this pandemic are simply too hard to ignore. And the public anger is just growing. Or should one say, going viral. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. The Chinese don't like the viral trends in India, for that matter, anything viral given their recent history with viruses. So what are they doing? No prizes for guessing. Issuing more threats. At the forefront is the Global Times. It says Indian software remove China apps, likely to draw punishment from China. It doesn't answer a critical question though. Who in China will punish the Indian app? The Chinese government, a member of the Communist Party, a diplomat, or the Global Times itself? We don't have the answer. Like most Global Times write-ups, this one too is a lengthy rant. Let me quote some of it. If the Indian government allows the irrational anti-China sentiment to continue ruining bilateral relations, it is likely to draw tit-for-tat punishment from Beijing. Again, the question, who said this? The Global Times says it got the quote from, and I'm quoting, an industry source who wanted to remain anonymous. Of course he did. Like most of their sources, unnamed, unverified, fountains of threats and rhetoric. No more, no less. We leave it at that.